All right, it's the end of the second day of practice down here on Lewis Smith Lake, and we found Quaker State Pro, Matt Airy. Um, Matt, you're actually the first guy we've talked to, uh, so what I want you to do right now is kind of give me a little update on just what's going on with the lake right now. How are these fish setting up? Yeah, this lake, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a fisherman's dream. It's a little bit of everything. I mean, you've got pre-spawn, you've got spawning fish. I, I don't think there's too many post-spawn fish, okay. but it's gonna, be, it's gonna be wide open. It's gonna be, a, like I said, a junk fisherman's dream. I think there's gonna be a lot of different ways to catch them. You're gonna be able to catch them deep. You're gonna be catching them in between. You'll be able to catch them shallow. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of different things that are gonna go on, so it's gonna be a fun tournament. Well, now this, this lake, statistically, I, I know a lot of the hype is about spotted bass. Um, I mean, they're, they're good size in here. Uh, and usually guys, find them out deep. You know, last time we were here, Ayler won out deep. Um, and back in 08, it was also spotted bass kind of out deep-ish. Do you think we'll see that same type of thing this week or are there enough largemouth uh, coming to the bank that you think it could be kind of anyone's deal? Uh, I think I think you're going to be it's going to be well versed. You're going to see a big variety. You're going to see a lot of largemouth and spots. You're going to see a lot of mixed bags weighed in this week. Uh, you know, my take on the spotted bass here: you can win on straight spots on this lake. There's no mm -hmm. doubt in my mind. Um, to me, they're looking. You know, they're pre-spawn. They're weighing. I think they're weighing a little bit heavier than some of the largemouths. Sure. Now. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be looking to target both. Uh, okay. I think a lot of guys will, will look to mix it up, but uh, I, I, I have no doubt you can win on spots. And, and now, uh, what, what are we seeing for water temps right now? Water temp is anywhere from 58, 59 up to 64 today is what I found. It's okay, 1 to 64, so, so. And it's supposed to cool down a little later in the week, so it, do you think that'll kind of hinder the fish that are probably pushing up shallow right now with these warm temps we've had? You know, I, I don't think so. I mean, just cause it's, the, you know, the time of the year is right. Everything kind of fits the shorter or the longer days. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't drop as fast at night this time of year as a lot of people think. You know, if we mm -hmm. get down in the 30s, it might be a little different, but I think the front's supposed to push through the first day of the tournament. It might get down in the mid to high 40s, yep. like Thursday night. So. Um, it, we're going to have another bright sunny day tomorrow with temps in the mid to upper 70s. So that water's warming up, and uh, you know it's 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 just that time of year. So they're wanting to do their thing. Well, I'm sure you, I know you're one guy that that loves looking at them and catching them. And uh, I think if things keep shaping up this way, you might be a happy camper this week. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain. But there again, I mean, even if I get to go look at a few, I'm still going to try to mix it up because I don't think you can just you know, sight fish for four days and win this deal, especially with the fronts that we're going to have to deal with. You know, ch things are going to be changing daily, mm -hmm. and I think the guy that adapts and is able to change with the conditions is going to be the guy that does does well this week. Well, good luck, Matt. we got one more day of practice left, and uh, we'll see how you fare in the tournament, man. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it.